still having sex with pedo boyfriend then? If you're a paedophile, this <laughs> is like perfect. You know I love you like this. You stopped. I know. What was I thinking? I've always been able to blag my way out of these things. It's what we do. Yeah. I got it so wrong. What's happened to me? I just couldn't stop thinking about the police thing. Right. Cut to getting our coffees. It was really busy, so I do the coffee shop thing. Straight up to the counter. Natasha. I'm Natasha. What? It happened again. I couldn't go through with it. Natasha? So I queued up and paid for these. You're a queuer now. I feel sick with shame. I think I might have lost it. You only get a certain amount of time when you can get away with these things. Yeah. Maybe my time is up. Got to see the signs. I'm seeing them. Mm. Might be over. I might have to turn honest. Can't be friends with someone who's honest, can I? Sean's getting on really well with Lou. Yeah. Good idea to bring him to a children's playground mm. to see what he does. Oh, he's not doing anything weird or... Behaving perfectly normally. He's yeah. not doing anything inappropriate. He's lovely. Could still be a pedo, though. It's OK to use my own daughter for this. Definitely. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? I need to get myself a proper boyfriend. Like someone you go to brunch with? Yeah, like a brunch boyfriend. Mm. And you go to brunch with someone who's serious, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe Sean could be your brunch boyfriend. Mm. It's nice. It's very handsome. Mm. Drives you around everywhere. No, apart from the fact that he's possibly a sex offender, that aside, it's too... You know, you can squish him. Right. Well, in that case, you need to dump him. Why? If you're serious about getting a proper boyfriend, you can't have a sex friend on the go. It's just not... You need to focus. Yeah, but if I dump him and go out with someone else, they'll just end up being a sex friend. Yeah, that's because you always have sex with them on the first night. Don't do that. That is not the reason. The reason is, is that men can't get into a relationship with me because they fear they can't get out of a relationship with me. You can't dump this. You can't dump this. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, I Imagine do. dumping me. How guilty they would feel. Racked. It's like dumping someone with terminal cancer. Exactly. Mm. Imagine if they came round to your house yeah. to dump you and you were like in so much pain. You just couldn't yeah. even answer the like, door. Like, hello. I like the keys they in the lock. You. No, I see they what you mean. Fear that. It's almost like you need a way to. Let them know it's possible yeah. to dump you, How can you but communicate that to them without actually saying it? You first start seeing someone, or you've met someone at a bar, you can't say, oh, no. you, feel free to dump me. That'd be such a turn-off. You can't. can't. You, no. Difficult. Difficult, yeah. My friend Jake again. It's persistent. Yeah. Does he want to have sex with you? No. <laughs> That's the thing. In all the years I've known him, never tried to have sex with me. Wow. Weirdo. Can I come tonight? Yeah. Cool. You've never had sex with her? That is true, and she has never had sex with me either, so that's yeah. something well, obviously, we... Yeah, obviously. I don't know, it's We've just... We've never fancied each no, other, No, no, that is it. Yeah, but that's never stopped you before, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, but when we met at college, our eyes met across the room, and we just knew. We just knew there was nothing. There was nothing wow. there at all. <laughs> it's chemical, you know, you know in your soul. I just, I fancy nothing, nothing about this person. It's never gonna happen. You know, that's quite special to me. I've never felt that before about something. Doesn't matter, you've done that before. It, really? Not yeah. nothing, and she's carried on going. No. Oh. Pushed on through. Trooper. Yeah. Real trooper. That's what well, you well do, done, which you. is why this is so weird. Well, I'm but... sorry. <laughs> I like to fancy the people that I have sex yeah. with. Really? Call me weird. Oh, don't but... give me that. <laughs> Same again. Yeah? Yeah? Awesome. Actually, um, I said I'd be back, so I think I'm going to go. You're going? Go. Oh, well, lovely to see you. Yeah, to see you. You're <laughs> staying, though, right? Yeah, of course. All right. 
possible brunch boyfriend, I think. It, in that case, do not have sex with him. I'm not gonna have sex with him. a little sore. And you're still here? I'm still here. <laughs> so I made you something. What do you make me? Breakup card. Right. So this card entitles the bearer, you, to end the relationship with Lisa at any time while you read the rest. Right. Um, on receipt of this card, Lisa promises that she will not cry, blame you, Tell people you are a cunt. It's important. Or ever contact you again, even when drunk. So, basically, you give that to me at any time and we're done. <laughs> That's it. It's over. OK. No well... guilt, no questions, nothing. Fine. Um, I've got to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah. We'll do brunch. Oh, I'm at the crossroads. What crossroads? The crossroads of life. Oh, for fuck's sake. You have to accept I am a good person. Well, I am not a good person, and I'm nicking this fucking bra. <laughs> <laughs>